speed painting Space Marines is really hard. Army Painter's speed paint range, or any single coat paints for that matter, aren't strictly at their best when painting large flat panels, and that's basically what Space Marines are large bags of flatness. But having said that, there's still plenty of reasons you may want to paint your flat panels in this style. I myself just really love the speed at which I get my grey plastic coloured in. I mostly only care about tabletop standard because I just want to play games. But on top of that, I find speed paints are just really, really an enjoyable way of painting. I've never been as happy painting as I have since this style of paint arrived on the scene. Anyway, if you're like me and you're happy to compromise on some quality on the finish of your product for the speed paint perks, I've got some simple tips that will help you get the best job you can out of this paint style. Number one, first and foremost, the most obvious tip of all is just to shake your speed paints, but shake them and then shake them again. You cannot over shake these paints and even if you think you've done them enough, you probably haven't. I tend to shake these paints anytime I'm having a little think or waiting for a color to dry. And I've also recently grabbed myself a vortex mixer to help out, which seems to make light work of mixing these particular paints. The more mixed these paints are, the better the contrast effect will work. My second tip and a common tip amongst painting is to thin your paints. A splish splash of speed paint medium can do a few things for your paint job. It's going to buy you a little bit more time to work the color around the miniature. And it's also going to give your paint an ever so slightly smoother application. The final bonus it's going to offer is fluidity. It helps the paint slide off and into those recesses a little bit more easily. Next up, load your brush and load it like you mean it. Go big or go home. The quantity and the weight of that speed paint will help drag the paint with it. That's going to drag that excess into the recesses and hopefully drag some of the paint under the bottom of the armor panel, giving it a better finish. As you continue painting that miniature, keep your brush moist. Consider keeping it wetter than a cucumber in a women's prison. But do bear in mind, because you've used so much paint, you may want to Joe Wicks away a little bit of the excess at the end. Use a clean, dryish brush, a little bit damp is going to help and just wick away some excess paint. Tip number four is never paint the same area twice while this paint is still wet. While you're applying the paints, concentrate on a single panel at a time, cover the entire piece before moving on to the next area. Sticking with a single panel at a time is gonna help massively in never applying the paint to the same area. And as will the previous tip of keeping plenty of paint on your brush. Going over the same area will nine times out of 10 catch speed paint that has already started to cure either creating a patch, dragging a bit of gloopy paint around, or worse, pull off some of the almost cured paint and create a little hole in the color that then has to be refilled. If you do mess up a panel and feel the need to go over the part again, really do resist. This is not gonna help you while it's wet. You're gonna be very, very sad at the end. If you have missed a bit, let the first coat dry entirely, then build up very, very thin layers one at a time until you've blended it in seamlessly. For tip number five, once you are done painting, if you do have any questionable panels, we can hide those, we can disguise those, use the blotches or patches as positions to add decals to. Luckily with Space Marines, the shoulders are not only normally the worst affected area, but also are the most used for decals. And those decals will take away a lot of the attention from those unwanted pull marks. For six, on smaller, less intrusive, questionable areas, we can apply some weathering or battle damage. Lower areas of the marine are perfect for a little bit of mud or dirt effect. Match it to however you're going to do the basing and hide up some of the areas you're unhappy with. Likewise, on higher levels of his armor, a little bit of battle damage scratches peeping through the metal won't hurt. And with that, guys, we are completely done with the tips. We've got an insanely quick, really nice tables top standard space marine. What do you guys think? Are you on board with the compromise of quality for time? Or are you in the camp of painting these up to the best of your abilities? Let us know in the comments. And if you have any tips yourself, please add them below for people to gobble up. Anyway, you've watched it. Now go and paint it.